Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad, and uh, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can shut down, restart, or log off your computer by using a C program. So, uh, what we're gonna do is, you know, we're gonna execute the shutdown command with the proper arguments to either shut down or, you know, restart or log off. So uh, to do that, we're going to be using the system function. And if you want to use the execl function, then you guys can uh, do that. So here, just for the demonstration purpose, you know, I'm going to be using the system function. So uh, we need to write system, you know, that's the function name. Then uh, as a parameter, we need to specify the path of the shutdown program, which is uh, inside the folder where you have installed your operating system mine is in the c drive so i'm gonna write c then uh, colon then uh, two backslashes and then we're gonna be writing windows then again the backslashes and then it's gonna be system 32 again backslashes and we're gonna have shutdown so now uh, you know with this shutdown program we have uh, a lot of options available you know either we can uh, shut down the computer or you know we can uh, restart or you know we can log off or uh, do many other things so if you want to check out what are the options available then you guys can open up the command prompt you know i'm just gonna open up the run here and i'm gonna type cmd and i'm gonna click on this okay and it's gonna open up the command prompt and I just gonna type the command which is shutdown and now you guys can see we have a lot of options available here you know if we, if I pass this uh, yes as the parameter then you know it will uh, shut down the computer and if you pass R then it's gonna restart the computer then uh, if you pass L you know it's gonna log off and uh, similarly you know we have a lot of options available you guys can check all these options and uh, you know all these options can be used with this system function so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this i as the parameter you know which will uh, display the graphical user interface so uh, i'm going to write slash i and i'm going to save this and i'm going to build and run this program and now you guys can see here you know the graphical user interface has been displayed by our uh, program so here you know i can uh, select you know any of these options and either shut down or restart my computer so now you know if you want to shut down the computer directly then uh, you guys need to you know use the the parameter slash yes and uh, you know if you want to restart your computer then we need you need to use the slash r and you know if you want to log off then you need to use slash l you know you just need to execute only one of these statement you know i'm just gonna comment out all these things now you know if i uh, execute this program then i'll be logged off from my computer so once again you know if you use the i as a parameter then uh, it's gonna display the graphical user interface and if you use this yes then you know it's gonna shut down and if you use this r then you know it's gonna restart your computer so all you need to do is you know uh, keep only one sentence you know any of them if you want to restart only keep this one and save your program and run it you know it's gonna restart your computer and you know you guys can check out the other options available in along with the shutdown command also so here you know you guys can see we have a lot of options and you guys can use any of this so here you know in in place of the system function you if you want to use the execl function then you guys can do that you know the effect will be same so this is it guys this is how you guys can either shut down or restart or log off from your computer by using a c program thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel check out my website learninglight.com for the source code of this tutorial and also you guys can find a lot of tutorials in my website so uh, don't forget to check it out and uh, i'll see you in the next tutorial